Here's some of the most embarrassing moments ever shown on live TV. So if you guys do enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get straight into today's video. The reporter instantly regrets asking the guy to wear his mask. Hey, you don't know what it's a little different this year, you know? Everybody's got masks. Yep. Oh, that's good. Somebody was spraying pellets at the reporter and she wasn't too pleased about it. So she tells all the viewers watching. There are bikes in the air and also held another moment of silence. Okay, so somebody just hit me with pellets, obviously. Oh. <laughs> okay. um, if you'd like more information or to help out with this bike ride, you can go to fox 9com You're okay. Philadelphia. Are you okay, Yeah. I, I am standing here talking to you, okay? okay. <laughs> Soon as all the lights switch off, these men are surrounded the woman, and the only thing you hear she says is stop it. This was live on television. Yeah, I got to get out of here. So tell me. Yes. Why should we be here? A lady puts out her cigarette on the reporter's face when they were trying to interview her. The guy looked professional until he drops his camera and you saw what he was wearing. He was standing in his underwear and all the viewers had a great look. Uh, la Turquie est également sous les eaux et nous pourrions comme ça faire une liste. Euh, ne cassez pas votre matériel, nous pourrions comme ça faire une liste euh, très longue des événements climatiques majeurs et extrêmement compliqués. This lady obviously hates corn, but she got told to try corn live on TV, so she made out she took a bite. Corn and now I finally get to try mine. Something very strange happened on TV when they switched cameras to a ceremony about the devil. To the stabbing of a police dog during an arrest in Brisbane last year. This reporter cracks a joke live on TV, completely embarrassing the woman. You won't believe what he says. Hey Charlie, I'm going to sit here and just hang out with my new best friend, Bettina. The report tries out a famous hot dog everybody is speaking about, but you can tell by his facial reaction he don't like the hot dog. He puts the food to the side of his mouth, then he almost pukes. This dog and see, and see what this is all about. Here. Let me get a bite of this. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Man, this is really good, man. Thank you so much for coming on the, coming on the show today, man. And back to everyone. Back to you. Bring back a hot dog for everyone, Jalen. <laughs> The most embarrassing and awkward moment captured on live TV when the reporter slips up and says the n-word. She soon apologized moments later. Is there any other way that you would want to celebrate it? Hey listen, we are live this morning at the Willard Intercontinental Hotel. It's been a key inaugural spot for 150 years. As soon as the reporter asks what has he learnt, he drops the f-word live on TV. Community. Uh, Kenny, what have you learned, sir? A man got caught live on TV delivering a package over the prison wall and I'm not the only one who's thinking this, I wonder what was in the package. When his TV reporter was reporting in Phoenix, the guy behind him got caught slapping a woman in a wheelchair.
The reporter has waited his whole life for this moment to show off his skateboarding skills live on TV. Even his colleagues are saying how cool he looks. And so Mr. Premium is going to be out here every single Monday and Wednesday skateboarding with everyone and trying his best to basically show them exactly what to do. As far as Chandler's skate park, they'll be done in about the next 10 days or so. Victor Williams, Local 4. Victor, Thank you me. are so cool. Come He's on. He's so cool. Yeah, everybody at home's like, I oh, I wonder how That's live, folks. <laughs> Look at him go. I told you, I wasn't kidding. With they was asking Charles where he was until he gets took out by a big wave live on TV. Yeah. Tell us okay. where you are and wait, what's yeah. going on? Well, we're on the seawall. Uh, look at this. I want you to show you something, Martha. Look, look, look. Whoa. I am. Are you okay? <laughs> How unlucky is this guy? He just got released from prison. The moment Slaves hits the reporter's mic, and then he gets re-arrested again. I'm Walter. Good luck to you. What's get happened? the f away from me now or I'm gonna knock your no, ass you're just, Hey, 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 hey. You're gonna get arrested for get assault, the, man. I'm not touching you. I didn't touch you. Well, you hit Don't my mic. Listen. I didn't what? touch you. Get okay, away from okay. me. Okay, okay. So why are you, why are you keep on ripping people you. off, Seth? Why is he doing this? I, I just want to leave. Okay. I got my property. Okay. I just want to leave. I didn't it's touch assault. him. I didn't touch together. him. Palms together. Why are you? This guy got caught sleeping in front of the camera. And then he wiped the saliva off his mouth. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. <laughs> Now we all know what his dream job is. Not playing football, being a singer and a dancer. Sean Payton told us at least three times that is not the formula we want. We're not going to be able to do that here. That is not advantageous for us. He's telling us he wants to protect those young quarterbacks, saying let's make sure that we're going to keep the ball. The reporter gets roasted so hard live on TV, he takes a mick out of her top, comparing it to a sofa. Have you worn this before? I have not. It's very comfortable though. Yeah. A little cozy. I think it's from the, the no! furniture collection, wasn't it? <laughs> really? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, it's the Raymore and Flanagan design team put this together. Uh, it's really nice. <laughs> that actually is our floor director's couch in a basement somewhere. I was wondering why he was trying to sit on me, but, you know. Well, now. <laughs> now we know. What in the heck's back? What is this? Oh, there's... Change? <laughs> what else is... What is he you got? <laughs> candy wrappers. Candy and wrappers and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Plastic on the sofa. <laughs> the only thing that's making me feel not horrible about this is it's also a Beyonce song. A blind man was casually walking behind the reporter, and the reporter jumps live on TV. Family, this shooting took place uh, just before 10:30 here on Masterson Cove. Of course, we're gonna continue to stay with this uh, story. A woman swallows a fly live on air, and she still kept it cool and carried on reporting the news. Rachel rain, a national emergency has been invoked has been invoked, but the weather in Pakistan, extreme weather, is alarming. Nitu Garcha reports. This guy moans about his colleagues how miserable they are. And because they're so miserable, they also make him miserable as well. And he complains about it live on TV. I think it's going to be a fine. Good. You know, it'll be fine. All right. Could be worse. Yeah. Has been worse. Well, because you guys are dragging me down. You guys keep... Well, every time I get done with the seven day, you guys are like, oh, gosh. Ugh. Every time. Doesn't matter what time I come on. 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, and then you expect me to be chipper for five straight hours. It's miserable. I want you guys to say, wow, that's great news. It's going to be 60 on Friday. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? Lie to you? I'll put 70 every day next time. How did the middle finger lead into a chin scratch? Because he soon realized he has been caught. Thomas Schaffernacker <laughs> preparing uh, for it, so I'm not in touch. Oh! 
A shopping cart runs away on TV. And she's explaining it costs thousands of dollars to do this. So that thousands of dollars of items almost got destroyed. For thousand dollars to put on a show like this tonight, about half that came from private sponsors. They they say usually after everything's said and done, uh, the chamber gets about five to six thousand dollars back from food sales. Well, a reporter gets pushed away and kicked out by the military. Weren't just trying to do a live report. <laughs> Out of all the throws on the field, this ends up happening. Someone gets a perfect bullseye and she goes straight into the water. She definitely wasn't expecting that. Uh, the hair <laughs> <laughs> because today is family field day. Today is Friday, August 9th, 2019. <laughs> His last TV moment got stolen by these two vehicles in the background because they end up colliding into each other. Spell your name and your title. First name is Vic, V I K, last name Singh, S N G H. Oh my God. <laughs> and we just got the reporter and a player turn their face literally at the wrong time. She told everybody to stop using water and use a fire extinguisher. She couldn't even get it working herself. And it still left the same result at the end. The fire wasn't even put out. Yep, that was quite embarrassing. The goal of the experiment is to show that throwing water over a kitchen fire will actually make it worse. <laughs> Firefighters say the best thing you can do is to grab a fire extinguisher to put out the fire. <laughs> Okay! Oh my god! Put it out! It's still not like that! Oh my god! If you did enjoy today's video, then hit or two of my other videos on the screen right now. And if you guys want to see any videos from myself in the future, then please subscribe to my channel. Enjoy and have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.